One of our greatest challenges in modern society and in the education system today is ensuring that our children's sense of childlike wonder never leaves them, even into adulthood. If we're not careful, we can think that a sense of childlike wonder, to, to run up to a, a plant and smell its fragrance, to look into the sky and make shapes out of the clouds, well, we can think that that sense of childlike wonder is something that children can and should grow out of as they become adults and take life seriously. But what happens when we leave that sense of childlike wonder behind is life becomes very dull. We have a sense of we've been there, we've done that, you know, we've almost got the t-shirt as the phrase goes. But if we take <coughs> this stream behind me, now I come down to this stream just about every single day. I have to remember to switch on my sense of childlike wonder. What this means is seeing things new for the first time. That's what a child does. Nothing is old to a child. So when I come down here to this stream, as I'm walking down, I have to say to myself, I've never seen that stream before. And really, that's very true. This is a completely different uh, river, a different stream than it was a year ago, a month ago, a day ago, and even since we started talking. In this way, when I look at the river, I can see the sunlight reflects off it in certain ways. I can see the, it rolls over the rocks in certain ways, and it becomes new, and it, most importantly, it brings both the river and myself to life. Childlike wonder is such a powerful thing for cutting through the malaise that we have in society right now of uh, always needing bigger, better, faster and more. The, the beauty is all around us, but we just switched off to it thinking that we've seen it before. As we do that, so our children follow our example. So something that we can do is switch back on to that magic.